What up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode, Failing Forward 101 with McLean, aka Jersey D. And yeah, so this episode, I'm updating you on my 21 day challenge. So, how'd it go? Well, as you can see, I missed coffee. Uh, I'm very happy to have coffee back in my life. The 21 days without coffee, uh, it was hard. And it, it is the mornings a little bit, but that noon, that noon between 11 a.m. kind of like 2 p.m., that was when I was really missing coffee, those midday extra jolts, boosts, whatever, however you want to put it, a little caffeine shot. Um, that's where I really missed it was midday. So I am drinking like about two to three cups of coffee a day now um, and some days like uh, the other day I didn't really have that much going on and I went coffee list so that's my new thing I'm gonna still drink coffee in my life after going 21 days without it I know I can go without it um, so yeah I'm gonna continue drinking it uh, I'm very, on days where I really want to excel give 110 percent but um, definitely on days off or a little bit more relaxed days, I'm just gonna go coffee list. So it's not like a 365 day thing, you know? Um, aim for like that four or five, maybe six days a week of coffee in my life, so. And yeah, the news. The news is uh, interesting. Uh, I started reading the news again as well after my 21 days with no news challenge. And that one's probably been kind of a big, I've noticed that more so than not drinking coffee. There's just something about when you read the news and you get caught up in this spiral of events that kind of elicits an emotional response in you. When you read it, you, you know, you feel the fire build up in you. Um, there are some ones where you feel love kind of well up when you feel, uh, feel, when you read a feel good story, but let's be honest, you know, like sex sells, violence sells in the news, so. I've, I've been noticing, like, I, I started reading the newspaper again, but it dawned on me every time you read something, especially, like, the newspaper, it it has that effect, but even more so on social media when your feeds are kind of tailored to sort of what your, what's going to elicit responses in you, and sort of that thing that, like, oh, will set you off or you're more likely to comment on. I found that is actually more toxic for my soul personally is when I see all these news feeds on social media. So sometimes I'm still reading the newspaper, I can pick and choose what I want to read further into, whether I feel it's kind of biased crap or whatever, but um, news feeds, so social media, I'm definitely, uh, it's not even a 21 day challenge, it's just a new way of life where I am basically going to skip the hell out of social media news feeds because it is a rabbit hole of propaganda damn near or well, some of it is news some of it is this fake news everyone keeps on talking about like any news article that starts with have you heard of or guess what everyone's talking about that is crap don't read those that's what i learned at least i'm not reading any of that that's it's it's subjective media bs and that's what i found has really kind of been making me feel worse off overall is when I read that crap and I just get kind of more angry with the world and then it sort of spirals. It's, it's not a good way to start your day. It's not a good way to live your life. So that is just a new way I'm going to live is going basically as media free as possible. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. It's not an official challenge, but my new Actually, I'll tell you about my new 21 day challenge after I address. A lot of people have been asking me actually about the beads. So these are my gratitude beads. And I call them that because every time they like smack me in the face or if I hear them jingle really loud, um, I basically stop and I think of something to be grateful for. I gotta say, I got a lot more hate than love from wearing these. I basically, I have like four or five myself now. Uh, but I love it. I do it for me. I love it. And I, I, I love the way it makes me feel when it, when it smacks me in the face. And I think of everything I'm grateful for. Because even if you're climbing a staircase, you know, the elevator's broken and it hits you in the face. I got legs at work. That's cool. I'm, I'm using the stairs right now. You know, whatever it may be. Or you're on a packed bus and, you know, maybe it pulls one of the hairs on the back of my neck when I'm having a pissed off moment. 
And it's like, oh, it reminds me, you know what? I'm on this public transport. I'm going to where I want to be. Or, you know, like, you think about the pauses. Or, or I'm warm, I'm comfortable, I'm hungry. I got a good song on, on my iPod, whatever it may be, you know? Just be grateful for it. So that's why I wear these. I hand make them myself. Actually, I go by the bead store, I pick them all out, and then I line them up exactly how I want to. So you will never see a, another one like this. Now, moving on, my new 21 day challenge. I am going to be aiming towards a more kind of fitness routine here this time. So I'm gonna do 21 days of, just keep it simple, 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups every day. Now that's my bare minimum. Uh, if it gets a little bit of a routine and a go, I might you know, end up doing a few more, maybe some crunches or something like that. But every day I am going to do a 20 push-up and 20 sit-up routine. Probably aided by coffee. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put up a before and after photo. So we'll do the before pic. Um, I'll put it somewhere around now. And yeah, we'll see what 21 days of 20 push-ups and 21 sit-ups will do. Other than that, this is McLean saying thank you for watching another episode of Failing Forward 101 with me, McLean, aka Jersey D. I just wanted to say I love you guys. Have a great whatever day it is. And here, I'll give you all back.